to know that if all was going on here in America and around the world, uh -huh. that you could call him up at any time. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the phone being busy. Just call him up. Oh, yeah. For the, your consideration, I will be reading the scripture this morning. I will be coming from Matthew 5, starting with the third verse. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God blesses those who hunger and their thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God bless those who are hearts of pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right for the kingdom of heaven of theirs. God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. And lastly, be happy about it. Be very glad. For a great reward awaits you in heaven. Amen. Yes, sir. I have read for you Matthew 5, verses 3 through 12. May the Lord give his blessings to the readers and most of all the doers of this old and righteous word. Amen. 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 Our Father, yeah. pray, brother. Pray. Yeah. pray, brother. Pray, yeah. brother. Hallowed be thy name. Pray, brother. Thou kingdom. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let thy will be done for yeah. Yeah. on earth as it is done in heaven. Yeah. Uh -huh. Give us this day. Yeah. Our daily bread. Mm -hmm. And forgive us for our trespasses. Yeah. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Yes, sir. Earth. And lead us not into temptation. Yes, yeah, sir. But deliver us from so much sin. Yeah. And evil. yeah. For thine is the kingdom. And uh -huh. the power and the glory is all thine. Yeah. Father, we are thine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. we come. Uh -huh. Yes, Just as humble as we know how. Uh -huh. We give thanks and praises unto your holy name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You've been good to us. Yeah. Down through the years. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember when I didn't know you. Yeah. You came by one day. Yes, yeah, sir. You picked me up. Yes, yeah, sir. Started me on a new journey. Uh-huh. You told me to tell somebody. Yes, yeah, sir. You done tried everything else. 
Yes, sir. Yeah. He's a waymaker. Uh-huh. And a bird and well. Yeah. He's a bridge of a trouble. Yes, yes sir. He's a battle axe and a time of trouble. Yes, sir. Oh, I love him today. Yes, sir. He gave me another chance. Yes, sir. And I'm going to take him back. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
myself, but God's good. Yeah. He woke me up this morning. How do you know he woke me up this morning? How do you know he, he gave me a righteous mind? Amen, amen. 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 I know he's been good. Yes, sir. Because I'm standing here. I recognize he's been good because I got health and strength. I thank God for you. This morning, and I'm here to read the response of reading. And it's entitled The Majesty of God. You'll find it in Psalms chapter 8, verses 1 through 9. Amen. Amen. And the word of God said, O oh Lord, our oh Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Who has set thy glory above the heavens, church? As thou ordained strength. Because of thine enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, church. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visited him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels and has crashed him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thine hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. Church? Uh, sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name, name all together? Oh, yeah. oh Lord, our Lord, how oh, excellent is thy name, name in all the earth. earth. Amen. 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 Bless you this morning. Let's continue to hide in the Lord again. 
when you need something. Well, you're doing problems all around you. What do you do when you can't understand what's going on in the street? What do you do when sickness is all around? I tell you what I do. Praise is what I do.
He's worthy to be praised. Thank God. Thank God. It's so good to see everyone here. I'm going to ask all of Mount Sinai people, would you honk your horn right now? If I have any visitors, would you honk your horn? All right. Now, Mount Sinai, let's give them a welcome. Honk your horns at them. Praise God. Well, listen, we, we're blessed to be here. In spite of everything, God has been good to us. And we have we have a wonderful service today. How many have been blessed already by the service? Amen. Thanks be to God. Listen, we're going to have at this time um, a young lady that's dear to this church family. And um, she's so resourceful that we're just so thankful. We wouldn't give a million dollars for her. But she's going to come and give you some information concerning uh, C-19 where you can be tested and, and some other things that's going on. And so I'm going to let her come and share with you real quickly. Uh, Sister Andrea, I want you to give her a round of applause as she comes. Come on. to where you're needing those assistances. And I just want to share some that um, some organizations that I came across that are out there. Um, and then again, sanantonio.gov is a, a website that you can um, access to find all this information that I'm sharing with you, as well as calling 211, which is to United Way, it's all things San Antonio, so to say, to where they can provide you with information as well, more specific to whatever your need is. So, as far as testing sites, they are um, doing testing um, see, Monday through Sunday from 9 to 5 at Freeman Coliseum. You do have to have an appointment, so you just would call, I'll give you a number, 210-233-5970. Again, that number is 210-233. 5970 and that's to get you registered so that you can um, participate in the testing that's going on at the uh, Freeman Coliseum. They also have a website. It's TX COVID, so that's C O V as in Victor ID test.org and it will also provide you with a listing of testing sites should you want to be tested. Some testing sites are doing it if you have symptoms. Some are doing it if you do not. So um, please contact them if you're wanting to be tested. The one at Harry Freeman, excuse me, Coliseum, it is a drive-through. So again, make sure that you are calling ahead of time to schedule yourself an appointment so that you can be tested. You see, at the health department. They're doing testing Thursday through Saturday, starting at 9.30. Again, um, please make sure you're contacting these organizations prior to arriving to make sure you're not wasting your time um, going down there and they have some prerequisites um, that you need to do. As far as housing, really want to talk about this one because we, we are hearing everybody say, you don't have to pay your rent, you don't have to pay, you don't have to pay, they can't evict you. Yes and no. Right now, there is a stop, so to say, to say, no, they cannot evict you, but your rent still is accruing. So when they do lift that to where it's time to say, hey, we can pay, you may be required to pay that whole amount. 
So if if you have it, please pay it. Don't don't try to go beyond it because they're giving you a pass right now because it's just going to get to be a bigger bill for you when it is time to pay. Your landlords can still serve you with the notice to vacate. However, they can't act on it until the city lifts that it is okay to start proceeding with evictions. So yes, they can give it to you. Yes, you can stay in your home without the payment, but when it comes time due, they can not request for all of the monies to be due right then. So just be aware of that. As far as food, right now, um, excuse me, the San Antonio Food Bank is providing some uh, facilities that are providing meals daily. Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock, this portion is for children. If you have children that are in need of meals, Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock, the two closest to here is Copernicus and Woodard. Those locations are providing meals daily um, at 11 o'clock. And then at 4.30, Dawson and Southside Lions are providing meals for children um, should you need that assistance. And they also have a location at Normal. A number that you can text to find out which three locations are closest to your location is 877 877 and the word you would be texting is food again that number to text is 877 877 and the word to text is food and it will provide you with a listing of the three closest um, food programs to your location as far as food pickup on June the 5th from 9 to 11, they will be um, doing a food distribution, the San Antonio Food Bank will, at Northside Stadium. Again, that's Friday, June the 5th, from 9 to 11. And they will do it again on Tuesday, June the 9th, from 9 to 11 at Traders Village. So those two programs are um, available as well. Again, please ensure that you pre-register so that you will be able to um, basically receive food if you are in line and food is available. Remember these distributions, they are first come, first serve. Most of them are feeding up to 100 or their capacity is not 100, I'm sorry. The capacity is 400. So once they've exceeded that or met that, then there is a possibility you may not um, receive items that you're seeking. So please ensure that you register and that you're in line ready to receive should they um, have materials or, or um, product to give you when it's your turn. As far as the pre-registration for the food bank, it is not at the food bank. To pre-register, you have to go to Wilson, not Wilson, Nelson Wolf Stadium, which is a little bit up the road from the food bank. You pre-register there, it starts at nine o'clock, and then they will send you to the actual food bank to pick up your items. Again, the max is 400, and they are doing that Monday through Friday from 1 to 4. And on Saturdays from 10 to 1 for right now, but starting on June the 6th, they will start doing Saturday um, distribution from 10 to 12. I think that's about it. As far as uh, medicine, if you're needing assistance with medicine, the number to call is 211. And when you call them, just preference your conversation with um, needing prescription assistance. And if you once you give them that information, there's a series of questions that they will ask you and then forward that information on to the city so that they can contact you with any assistance that you're available for um, through the, the prescription assistance program. So. Um, I will be here after church. That, that concludes the information that I have to share for you. But if you're wanting more information, please feel free to contact me. I'm over here in the corner. Or again, access sanantonio.gov or call 211. I'll, I'll Thank you. I think that's, that's some good information for us. Amen. You, you need assistance, want you to do that. Now listen, I'm praying and I'm believing God that none of us will need 
any kind of um, medicine or anything that God's going to keep us during this COVID-19 season. Amen. We're believing that God's going to keep our families. And so you keep praying and I'm praying. But if, if you need some of these services, you make sure that you go and get help. All right. Listen, this is this is what we call Mission Sunday. And our mission sisters are in charge. And listen, if you have repre uh, representation you're going to give, see this 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 real uh, nice and wonderful person. Uh, Sister Gant, raise your hand. She's under the tree here. And give your funds to, uh, to her. All righty? Now listen, what we're going to do is we're going to have a young lady that's going to come and, um, and share with us. And it's Sister Minister uh, Tina Smalls. She's going to do our, our mission talk today. So come on and give Minister Smalls a round of applause. And she
Come on, come on. He said, I never slumbered, nor do I sleep. He said, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the beginning and the end. I created you. I created time. If you ever need me, I'm right here where I was. When my son hung out on that cross. Come on, come on. I'm still standing here with you. He said, in times like this, I know that you need a Savior. He said, I am that I am. Hmm. It's everything that you stand in need of. If you need me right now, but you got to be still. So I said, what do you mean, God, by being still? I've been running from this place to that place, trying to do what I need to do. I've been praying, Lord, that I've been reading the scripture, Lord, that I've been searching for you. He said, I never moved. But I need you to learn how to rest in me. Come on, come on. He said, I need you to learn how to rest in me. Because if I did it before, I can do it again. Yes, sir. to cover us and he's always been blessing us hadn't he thank you god now listen i'm going to ask i'm going to ask the 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 singers to come uh the voices are if you're here you're supposed to be already here if you're not here i'm moving on all right come on voices hurry up come on we're, we're moving i want the voices to come this is a portion of our our singers uh one of our choirs we have several and and they're going to come and bless you under the direction of Sister May Catherine Thorne of Seguin, Texas. Amen. So they're going to come and they're going to bless us. Now listen, we want to practice the best we can social distancing. So I'm going to ask you to make sure you, you do that on your own. All right. All right. And after that, we're going to, we're going to move on. Now let me do say this to you. Um, we've tried to move as quick as we could today, but the Lord is taking us in another direction. So we just we, we just want to let go and let God. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. Now listen, special prayer request today. I want you to let this marinate a little bit. 
We have a young man, I think he's down in Victoria, Texas. He called yesterday, and his name is Jojo. And he's dealing with C-19. Uh, he's he got out of the hospital, went back home, but still having some some respiration problems, breathing. And so I want you to please, please pray for, if you could just remember Jojo. I want you to be praying for him. Also, we'll be praying for the Wilson family. Uh, lost sister, sister Wilson. And so we're going to be, what is this? Mildred, sister Mildred. Wilson, one of our faithful members of the church, and so we're at, we're praying for that family. Now, I'm sure there are, sh sh there are other families, there are other families who are going through um, difficult situations, and we're going to be praying. If you're here today, don't honk your horn, but lift your hand outside of your window and let us see those of you with special prayer requests that you need God to do some things. Uh, in your household, in your family, with your children, some of your neighbors. We still in church, uh, so we're going to we're going to be praying for them. And so, you, those of you who are watching, we're going to be praying for your family today. You may not have a voice, but I want to tell you, God, God hears you, and we're going to pray for you today. So now, as this choir prepares to prepares to render selection to us. I want you to pray with them and pray for them. We pray that this song will speak to your heart today and that God will move in a special way. Even right there in that car, you're not there by yourself. I'm glad he's everywhere at the same time. How about you? How about you? Listen, listen, for some of us, we, we're not just starting to have church in our car. How many of you always been having church in your car? Riding to work, going to the store. Didn't he worry? Didn't he be praised? All right, come on, choir, let's sing.
this time God has been so gracious to take care of us and we affirm believers at the mount we believe Malachi 310 we believe that when we take care of God's business he takes care of ours this is minister James Matthews tithes all right and those of you would like to give by credit card if you want to give by credit card Brother Roderick Thomas is right here in the red t-shirt. You can give by credit card or debit card. Also, we have other methods of giving online. And so, um, I think we have Cash App and some other things. If you get with him, he'll get you hooked up. All right? All right. Shall we, shall we bow our heads in a moment of prayer? Father, as we give this morning in this offering, we pray in the name of Jesus. That this that we're given it is acceptable in thy sight. Lord, we thank you that we're able to give. We remember the times when we didn't have anything to give. We remember the times when we couldn't give. But we thank you that even in these dark days that you've blessed us and your light has shined in our life. And that we're able to give now like we've always given. Now, Lord, I pray that you will bless those who may be going through financial challenges at this time, physical challenges, emotional challenges, whatever it may be. We pray, God, that by their giving today, that they will see an increase, that they will see the blessings, the hand of God upon them. Now, we thank you for this opportunity. And as we give, God, I pray that you'll let your people see. Let them see the unseen hand of God moving upon their lives. We thank you and we praise you now as these brothers go forth and receive this offering. We pray that you'll bless every car, every family that's represented. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And thank God.
Rebecca Johnson, you'll bless this offering for her. Once again, dear Heavenly Father, we first of all, we just thank you for being God all by yourself. Now, God, we ask that we that you would bless this offering. May it be used for the ongoing of your kingdom. We ask this blessing, blessing for those who had it to give and those who had it not. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus to Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. All right, listen. I've got a word for you today. And... Um, I've been doing some preaching I call preaching outside what I preached inside. And um, one year ago, well, in two weeks, it'll be one year, I preached it at the Antioch Baptist Church. And I want to preach it here. I had no idea that one year from now we'd be dealing with C-19 or some of the other issues that we're having. But I pray that uh, you will allow the word of God to penetrate your ears and penetrate your heart. After I finish preaching, I'm going to have uh, my friend, Pastor Isaiah, pray for us and we're going home. I'm going to try to be as brief as I can, but yet give you a solid word for today. Word is found in 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. Give you an opportunity to get there. Starting with verse 12. Now David was the son of a man named Jesse. Let me go down a little bit further. That way I want to read through all this. Let's go to verse 20. So David left the sheep with another shepherd and set out early the next morning with the gifts as Jesse had directed him. He arrived at the camp just as the Israelite army was leaving for battle for the battlefield with shouts and battle cries. Soon the Israelites and the Philistine forces stood facing each other, army against army. David left his things with the keeper of the supplies and hurried out to the ranks to greet his brothers. Verse 23. As he was talking with them, Goliath, the Philistine champion from Gath, came out from the Philistine ranks. Then David heard him shout, his usual taunts to the army of Israel. As soon as Israel's army saw him, they began to run away in fright. Verse 25. Have you seen the giant the men asked? He comes out each day to defy Israel. The king has offered a huge reward to anyone who kills him. He will give that man one of his daughters for a wife and the man's entire family will be exempt from paying taxes. Verse 26. David asked the soldiers standing nearby, what will a man get for killing this Philistine and ending his defiance of Israel? Who is this pagan Philistine anyway? that he is allowed to defy the armies of the living God. Oh my goodness. I want to talk today, I want to talk about seeing things from the eyes of a warrior. Seeing things from the perspective of a warrior. Those of you who have heard me preach this before, you can help me preach it since you know where I'm going. But I believe some of you have probably forgotten by now, so I'll just preach it afresh. How about that? There's a lady by the name of Helen Keller. And Helen was an activist. She's a writer. And Helen was born blind. And later she was taught to read Braille and and being blind all of her life and accomplished so much, someone asked her, 
What do you think is the worst thing than being blind? And to their amaze, she said, having eyes and can't see. I believe, brothers and sisters, that we live in a time now where there are those who have eyes but can't see. On last week, I think it was Wednesday night, I dealt with Jesus dealing with the scribes and the Pharisees, his staunch enemies who said to, said to him, if you're really the Messiah, if you're really the Christ, why don't you show us some miracles? And Jesus said, you hypocrites, you can tell the weather, you know if it's going to rain, you know if it's not going to rain, but it's bad that you can't tell the times of the season. I wish I had somebody. Or you can't tell, you don't have, you can't read the signs of the times. We as God's people can't afford to be blind in times like these. Come on. It's not always what happens to us that matters, but it's how we see what happens to us. In our text today, some of you know David. You remember him, the shepherd boy, out there taking care of his daddy's sheep. Y'all remember David? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you also remember David from this particular text, the giant slayer. Some of, of us remember David from being the songs, the, the psalmist, the sweet psalmist of Israel. Come on. Others remind, remember him as being the king of Israel, All right. man after God's own heart, yeah. the apple of God's eye, David, the leader of God's people, David, the great general, uh -huh. the fearless general, David. Now our text today, David hadn't become king. As a matter of fact, David is just a shepherd boy. All right. But guess what? God has a plan for David's life. All right, all right. And I want to tell you today, you're here to hear the word of God, and God has a plan for your life. Uh -huh. Some of you young parents, some of you young parents in here, I want you to know something. Not only does God have a plan for your life, but he has a plan for your children's life. Yeah. All right, all right. And it's time that we raise our children to know that you're not an accident, but you are. I wish I had somebody. Come on, come you on. You are precious in God's eyesight, and God has a plan for your life. Right, right, right. The Bible says that David was taking care of his daddy's sheep, and his daddy said, Listen, I need you to go check on your brothers, your three brothers who are there in the army of Israel fighting against the Philistines. David went, he left those sheep in the hands of a keeper, grabbed the food and supplies took to his, to his brothers and to the generals to support the army. Uh -huh. Let me say something to you. Anything you're a part of, you ought to support it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank God for Mount Sinai yeah. that even in the midst of this COVID-19, you're, you're still faithful to God even more than you were before. The Bible says that David went out, dropped off the food just in time. Listen, God's timing is unbelievable yes, sir. Right. in the life of the believer. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, y'all not hearing me today. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I said God's timing is better than our timing. Yeah. Yes, I know some of you are discouraged because you're not where you want to be or where you thought you'd be at this time in your life. But let me tell you something. You don't live by your time. You live by God's time. Yeah. And listen. When David got there, it wasn't by accident. He got there just in time to hear this giant. Now, I want to tell you something. I didn't believe in giants until one day I saw Shaq. Are y'all with me? Come on. And uh, in that day, there in Gad, his family were known for being giants. All right. And people feared him. Are y'all with me? Yeah. And when David got out there, he heard this big loud mouth cussing and stomping his feet, telling people, come on out here. Hey, listen, you send a man out to fight me and I'll fight him. Whoever wins, the other army will serve the one that wins. Uh -huh. 
Hmm. And as he stomped into everything, David said, who is this guy? Come on, yeah. come on. Are y'all with me? Uh -huh. And when the Bible says, and when the Israel army saw that giant, they ran in fear. Hmm. All right. But David stood right there and said, who is this Philistine, this uncircumcised Philistine that defy the armies of the Lord? Come on, come on. Help me, Lord Jesus. Man, I feel like preaching today. I feel like preaching here today. The Bible says that when David recognized this, that his reaction was different than the king and his soldiers. Hmm. Can I get a witness here? And so brothers and sisters, I need you to, to know today that David was used mightily by God, not because of how talented he was, hmm. but because David allowed God to use him. And David was able to accomplish much because of the way that he saw things. Come on, come on. Because of David's vision. Are y'all with me today? Now, now listen. I want to tell you something. David, I don't know if he had 2020 vision or not. But I want to tell you, David had good vision. All right. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about here in a few moments. Well, let me say, Pastor. What's your argument here? My argument is that every child of God ought to view things through the eyeglasses come on, come on, of come on. faith and trust in God. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Are y'all with me today? Yeah. Yeah. And I want to tell you that David's vision took him a long way through life right. and he accomplished much for the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. Well, when we look at this thing, first of all, we need to see that David had sight. Uh -huh. hmm. Are y'all with me? Yeah. All right. He had sight. I'm not talking about 2020 vision. Helen Keller just told us a while ago, the worst thing than being blind is having eyes and can't see. Hmm. Yeah. Come on. She was not talking about visual sign of uh, sight. She was talking about, I wish I had somebody, that sight that God gives individuals to see things without their visual eyes. Come on. Well, now, now, in the natural, when we look at things through your natural eyes, you see, vision has a way of invoking emotions. All right. You know, you can see certain things just make you mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just see some things that'll make you depressed. Uh -huh. Come on. You can see some things that'll make you unhappy. Uh -huh. Some things will make you cry. Some things make you hate people just because you you saw something or you see something. Uh -huh. How many of you seen somebody and just at first view you just didn't like them that much? <laughs> you don't have to say nothing. Don't honk your horn on that. Give yourself away. <laughs> but some people don't like people. Just because of the way they look. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Are y'all with me here? No, and let me say something else. Sometimes we are upset just because of the way things look. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. But things are not always the way that they seem or yeah. the way they look. Come on. Come on. Say that. Say that. Some of us right now, we're so fearful and scared uh -huh. because of the things that we hear. In the things that we see. Yeah. And your your emotions can mess you up mm. by seeing things from your natural sight. Are y'all with me today? Yeah. Yeah. The child of God must have more than just sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Israel, when they saw in verse 24, when they saw that giant, they were fearful. Come on. Are y'all with me today? Yeah. How many of y'all remember in Second Kings? When Elijah was at home and his servant got up that morning and walked outside and the whole house was surrounded by soldiers. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. remember that yeah. in the story? Yes, yeah. sir. In yeah. Kings? Yeah. And that boy was so scared by yeah. what he saw, yeah. he ran inside and told Lord, the old man, said, 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 Master, we are surrounded by soldiers. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, guess what? The Bible says the old man got up and went outside. Elijah walked out there and looked. <laughs> and saw those saw all those soldiers surrounding them. 
Listen, he wasn't moved by what he saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what he did was he prayed and he said, Father, open his, open eyes. his eyes that he might be able to see. Yeah. Now, the boy already had probably 20 20 vision. Come on, come on. But there was something he didn't see. He could not see the supernatural world. Right, right, right. He couldn't see the divine world. Yeah. And when the old man prayed and God opened his eyes, he was able to see there were more angels yes, on their side than there were soldiers against him. Can I get a witness here? How many, how many of you raised, how many of you were raised with a good mama or a good grandmama? Yeah, yeah. And you would listen, you would bring your friends home, uh -huh. and all of a sudden your mama say, Boy, don't you hang with them boys. <laughs> yeah. You leave that boy alone. Or she tell you girls, y'all bring this guy to the house. And she said, Baby, you ain't got yourself nothing. That boy ain't worth nothing. And you said, Mama, he's he good looking. Look how tall he is. Look how handsome he is. And you thought just because he was bad, you had something. Come on. But guess what? Those old people had more than just natural sight. Come on, come on. Are y'all with me today? Yeah, yeah. They could see because they spent time with God. Yeah. And if you and I are going to be able to see in times like this, we have to be close to God yeah. so that he can give us more than just sight, but that we'll be able to see in the unseen world. Come on, come on. Are y'all still with me? Here he was. Looking at this giant. Now let me say this. Remember Goliath was real. Remember Goliath was real. Your problems and your crisis, don't try to play them off like they ain't, they ain't nothing. The problems we have in America, they're real. Yeah, 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 yeah. If your doctor tells you something, listen, it's real. Don't deny it. When Jesus dealt with blind Bartimaeus, he didn't say, well, blind Bartimaeus, don't say you're blind. Hmm. Blind Bartimaeus, he, he said, what do you want? He said, that I might receive my sight. You tell God what your problem is and God can deal with it. Yeah. Don't deny that you don't have problems. Well, Reverend, I'm not going to say, because listen, if it's real, don't run from it. You got a God who can deliver you yes, from whatever your situation is. Yeah, yeah. We look around right now at the landscape in America, and I'm trying to hurry. But I, listen, I don't want you to come out here for 20 or 30 minutes and then leave here empty. Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to fill your tanks right now. Come on. Not your gas tanks. Uh -huh, I know. I'm talking about your spiritual tanks. Yeah, yeah. Because we're living in troubled times. People are going crazy right now. Yes, sir. Oh, I wish I didn't want to get political today. Come on, come on. But let me just go ahead and say it. We can't deny what's going on across this country. Not all policemen are bad, but there are some bad ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are tired of being misused yeah. and abused. Yeah. We're tired of injustices. Come on. Can I get a witness here? Yes, sir. We just witnessed not too long ago. We we watched a president uh -huh. be acquitted. Yeah. When all the evidence was there that he broke the law. Come on. I wish I had somebody. And I'm not a I'm not a Republican and I'm not a Democrat. I'm a Christian. Come on. Are y'all still with me today? Yeah. yeah. Can I tell you, we serve a God. We serve a God who loves righteousness. Yeah. Yes, sir. We serve a God who loves justice. Yeah. And when you, I wish I had somebody, become wicked and lawless and faithless and, and godless, God will judge us. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, yeah. And so here he is. David stands and he looks and there's the giant. But I wondered, what did David see? Or what did they see that David didn't see? Yeah, yeah. Because what they saw caused him to run. Come on, come on. But what David saw caused him to stand. Yeah. I wish I had somebody. Caused him to stand with no fear because David saw things differently than what they saw. Yeah. Let me tell you something. 
Some of you here today, your reactions need to be questioned. Mm, come on. As Christians, and if we are real Christians, you've got to be careful of how you respond to what you see and what you hear. Now, some of us have been called crazy, stupid for coming out here. It's unnecessary. But I'll say it again. Praising God is, is, is of a necessity to me. The Bible says, God said, forsake, he said it through the apostle Paul, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some people are. Listen, some people don't come to church or barely come to church when C-19 wasn't here. Come on. Guess what? This is a picnic for them. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> this is a vacation for them. Come on. But my question is this. What are you going to do when things get better? How can you get up and tell folk God can do anything? Yeah. Come on and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can I tell you something? If you can't pray him in the midst of danger, Take your Bible, put it up, take your song book and put it up. Go sit down in the corner because God is looking for people with the real thing. Come today. on, come on. Let me preach today. Preach. Well, what did David have? What David had was insight. Hmm. Are y'all with me today? They had sight. That's why they ran. Hmm. But David yeah, had insight. insight. Yeah. What do you mean that by that? In verse 26, the Bible said that when David saw him, what David made note of the fact was that this, I wish I had somebody, this giant was defying the armies of God. All right. He wasn't just cussing, but he was cursing God's people. Come on. Y'all didn't catch that. Come on, come on. Come See, on. some of y'all are fighting. Somebody say something about your family, or about you, or about your boyfriend or girlfriend. But David got mad when you messed with his God. Come on, come on. Y'all ain't saying nothing. When you said something against his God, what David saw, he saw an uncircumcised giant who, I wish I had somebody, was defying the armies of God. Can I get a witness here? David had, David had a real authentic relationship with God. It was not by reason, it wasn't of logic, but it was of the spirit of God. A matter of the wicked and the righteous. Are y'all with me today? Can I say something? God will take care of the righteous. Yes, That's why David said, I once was young, but now I'm old. I've, I've never, never seen, seen the righteous, righteous forsaken, nor their seed hmm. begging for bread. Let me tell you something. When you have a relationship with God, God will take care of you. Yeah. Oh, help me while I preach today, Lord. It was a matter of the wicked and the righteous and this was the wicked coming against God and his people can I say something to you today and I'm almost finished I'm almost finished here. brothers and sisters we can't see C-19 there's culture in America and let me just get I can say this because I'm black but as a black neighborhood and a black uh, a blacks living in America When every song you make gotta be cursing and all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know that's wicked? Yeah. And me and you can't make it right. I don't care how you how you try to fix it. Some stuff is just wrong. Yeah. Our music, our culture. I wish I had somebody. Come on. It's time for us to put our clothes back on, pull our pants up, go back to school, go back to church, and start worshiping God. Yes, sir. Some of our music, some of the movies we make, 
We can't make good wholesome movies without it being a bunch of cussing and sex and all that kind of stuff. Come on, get real, folk. Come on. God ain't with all of that. But you don't need to say it. Let me say something to you. We feed children that's not ours. We clothe children not ours. We go to jail and visit children that are not ours. And I think if we need to go out and visit these children, we ought to tell them the truth. Yeah. Young man, go back to school and get you an education. Mamas, raise your sons the right way so he'll be a husband to a, another young lady. Fathers, go back home, take care of your family. Be an example of what righteousness really is. Oh, help me, Lord Jesus. Listen, guys. We got to have insight. David had insight. It was a matter of right and wrong. Are y'all with me today? It was a matter of right and wrong. There are some things that are just wrong, and I don't care what you say. If God says it's wrong, it's wrong. And if you get on the other side of God, and you stand against God just as Goliath did, guess who's going to win? Mm. My pastor used to tell me, he said, don't play with God because God plays too rough. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to say something else here. It's not in my, in my sermon, but let me say this to you. We are living in, 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 in perilous times. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm going to say this to you. I'm not going to tell you that everything's going to be all right. all right. Come on, come on. Are y'all with me today? Yeah. yeah. They oppressed Jeremiah. Hmm. They got down on him because Jeremiah wouldn't prophesy a sunny future. Hmm. Come on. America has gone far enough, and God is saying, that's enough. Yeah. And I want to say this, it may get worse mm. before it gets better. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what should I do, Pastor? Let me tell you what you ought to do. Get your life insurance together. Get your home together. Get your business in order. Start praising and worshiping God from the inside Come out. On. Go to church for the right reason. Get on your knees and pray. Read your Bible. Love God with all of your heart. Let this world go. Jesus! Come on, come on. Yes, sir. I want to say something somebody may not like you. Mm, say it. But some of us pastors who think we're so smart and everything, and Lord, help me while I preach this. Our eyes was on the wrong thing. Mm. We were talking about materialism. We were talking about you having the 10 steps to prosperity. But we didn't see, we didn't see C-19 coming. Come on, come on. I wish I had somebody. Come on. There's no profit in the land. And so therefore God is going to raise up new prophets mm. who will prophesy the truth, well, not now. for money, but because God said it. You don't need a preacher, and you don't need a pastor who's not going to tell you the truth. Right, right, right. You need somebody going to tell you the truth, whether it hurt or not, because that's the only thing that's going to save you and your family, is you got to get close to God. Yeah. 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 David had insight. With sight, you look on things. Mm. But with insight, you look Anything. into things. Right. And when David looked out there, he didn't see a giant. He saw a big mouth cussing and acting a fool. And David said, guess what? You just right for God. Come on. God can handle you, buddy. Now, let me, can I say something to you? We got a lot of giants in the land. Come on. Come on. We got some big problems in this country. Yes, sir. But can I tell you, God can handle our problems. Yes, he can. But love God. Yeah. Yeah. Let me give you the last one. I'm jumping over a lot of stuff here. 
Because I'm preaching a lot of stuff that's not in my in my text. God give it to me and I'm saying it. Come on, come on. David was able to see that Goliath was not against him, but he was against God. I need you to see something. Come on. If you're God's child, come on, come on. C19 is not just your enemy, mm. but he's God's enemy. Mm. Are y'all with me here? No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. gates of hell shall not prevail against God's church. Yeah. The thing is, the question is, are you a part of the church? All right. All are y'all right. with me here? Yeah. Now I'm not talking about the church building. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about God's people. Yes, sir. I'm talking about the family of God. Yes, sir. Are y'all with me? The one God is coming back for. Uh -huh. Now, somewhere, church, listen. David had to stand up. Even if it would have cost David his life, mm. he stood up anyhow. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Dr. King stood up even if it would cost him his life. Yeah. Others stood up even if it would cost them their lives. What are you saying, Pastor? You got to do what's right in the midst of danger, in the midst of uncertainty, even if it costs you your life. Yeah. You make up your mind, I'm going to serve God come hell or high water. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I need to say some stuff up here. It ain't about looking good, looking cute, trying to be young and all that kind of stuff. You better get yourself together because God can call your name at any time. Yeah, Listen, COVID-19 ain't taking away as many folk as other folk are dying of stuff. All right. Come on. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on, come on. Did y'all know every day thousands of people die just going to the grocery store? Oh, yeah. Are y'all with me today? Yeah, yeah. Do you know thousands die from aneurysms, from all other kind of... Listen, don't focus on that one giant. There's a whole lot of them out here. Yeah. But what are you talking about? David said, yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. No. Why, David? Because thou art with me. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Well, I got to close. I like having church. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And y'all know what? The thing, the thing about this is that when you preach like this, the devil puts a target on you. Mm. Y'all not hear me. Come on, come on. When you come to church and try to do what's right, the devil puts a target on you. Yeah. And before you get home today, all kind of hell may break yeah. loose. But the thing you got to know is that when you do what God tells you to do, Serving the Lord will pay off. Yes, sir. Not just after a while, but right now. Right now. I ain't going to church, Reverend. I won't go back until you go in the church. Listen, we may not ever go back up in there. Come on, come on. Say that, it say that. It depends on what God says. Yeah, 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 yeah. So some of y'all that won't come out now, you may not ever go to church no more. <laughs> I wish I had somebody. But can I tell y'all something? We don't need cushion pews. We don't need all that in order to worship God. Yes, sir. We'll worship him outside. It's hot and sweaty, but he is still God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Well, listen, not only did David have insight to see inside of things, David also had foresight to see beyond things. Now, brothers and sisters, that's in the realm of faith. See, anybody can say, you know what? I saw this. I see that. But it takes someone to say, you know what? But I'm looking beyond this. Come on, come on. I remember when I didn't have a car. And my car messed up. How many of y'all been there before? Yeah. Listen, your money is funny. Yeah, your money is funny and everything. And your credit is jacked up. And, and you say, Lord, I need a car. Hmm. And, uh, and, uh, and guess what? You got to trust God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you say, Lord, I need a car. I had one friend told me, said, listen, if you need a car, go ahead and build a build your garage to put it in. 
He said, that's faith. Hmm. Let, let me tell you something. Foresight is looking beyond the current situation. Come on, come on. Are y'all with me? Yeah. And seeing beyond what's happening now. And I want to say something to y'all right now. Things may not look well hmm. now. Yeah. But I'm looking beyond yeah. now. Come on, come on. Are y'all with me? Because when I turn around and look back from where I came from, come on, come on, if God could bring me out of all of that, God can bring me out of this. Come on. Y'all hey, like, ready to go home? Y'all ready to go home? Now? Come on, preach, preach. Listen, listen, listen to what David says. David saw that giant, and David went out there, and the giant started cussing. He said, Am I a dog? That they sent you out here, little boy, with a slingshot to kill me? Hmm. Say what, brother? Yeah, and a stone, <laughs> like I'm a dog or something. Yeah. And guess what? David said, you know what? You come after me with swords and cussing and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, he said, but I'm coming after you in the name of the Lord. Come on, come on. Church, come on, church. Yeah. Come on, church. Yeah. Come on, church. Yeah. Say it with me in the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Listen, we can't come out of this on our own. No, we We're can't. not smart enough to protect ourselves no. from C-19. No. Y'all ain't hearing me today. Yes, I have two members had a, had a wreck in a car. Each time, it wasn't their fault within the last month. Uh -huh. Somebody hit them. Uh -huh. Can I say something to you? You can be the safest driver in the United States and somebody with no driver's license, no insurance can hit your car and total it out. Come on. Come on. But y'all know what I also found out? You can do your best. I'm going to do my best. I'm wearing my mask. I'm washing my hands. But guess what? My faith is not in the hand washer. Come on. It's not in the Clorox tiles. Come on. Come on. It's not in the mask. Yeah. My health comes from the Lord. Yes, God keeps us. Yeah. God watches over us. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the name of the Lord. Yeah. In the name. Let me close. Let me close. David said, I got foresight. He said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what's going to happen. He said, I'm going to take this slingshot. Hmm. And I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and I'm going to leave your body here for the birds to eat. Are y'all with me here? He said, because I come in the name of the Lord. Right. And guess what happened? Hmm. The giant headed toward David. Exactly what he said. And David ran toward him. Hmm. Now that says something right there. Quit running from trouble. Come on. Now you don't have to start no trouble. Yeah. Come on, come on. But quit running from it. Yeah. Quit being so scared. Yeah. God got enough scary, sorry Christians. Y'all yeah. yeah. ain't saying nothing. Say that. Say that. God needs some Christians who's got faith, who are warriors, yeah. who are saying, "I stand in the name of the Lord." Yeah, yeah. I'm church and pray for my family I'm going to take my children to church my grandchildren because I believe in saving him because he's the Lord yeah. of hosts yes, sir. listen y'all Listen. I'm closing my Bible whenever a preacher says a Baptist preacher says he's finished know you got 30 more minutes of preaching but I'm good. <laughs> listen what happens that giant headed toward David Go home and read that whole chapter. David took that one rock and started slinging. He didn't have a sword. You see, guys, doing things because that's what other folk are doing, that don't work for us. Come on, come on. God gives us instructions on how to do what we do. Quit trying to be like everybody else. Do. Listen, we are peculiar people. Yes, sir. We're God's people, man. He took that slingshot. And in the name of the Lord, he let that rock go and it sunk into that giant skull and he fell. Boom. Oh, was that Sonny Liston's fight that that surprise punch, that phantom punch that Ali hit Sonny Liston with? Uh, everybody knew that Sonny Liston was going to knock 
Muhammad Ali out. Got in the first round, and all of a sudden Ali made a move. Bam! Hit him so quick, the cameras didn't hardly pick it up. <laughs> Are y'all with me today? Yeah. And guess what? I was happy, but then I was sad. Yeah. Cause the fight was over yeah. before it started. Y'all yeah. 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 didn't catch that. Come on, come on, come on. Been in some situations like that where the fight was over before it even started. Play that. Just one punch and they went down. Yeah. Can I tell you something? I believe Saul Nim said, what happened? Did you see what happened? Can I tell you, that's how fast God moves. Yeah. Come on. God moves so quick. Say that, say that. In trouble and out of trouble so fast that people wonder whatever happened. Come on. David ran up on him. Read the rest of it. David took the man's sword, cut his head off, start walking around with the man's head in his hand. You know, David was a, I call him a Christian. He is God's man, but he was cold. Y'all with me? He walked around with a dead. Now, some of y'all saw that. You'd start running right there. But you know what? David was a warrior. And that man's head was a testimony. And can I tell you something? When you come to church and trust God, let me tell you, whatever happens, whatever God brings you through, don't try to hide it. No, no. I wish I had somebody. No, 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 no. Remind people of what God has done for you. Say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have to get you a, get you a little weed thing, a little pipe, put it around your neck, and people say, what you doing that pipe? Say, this is my testimony. Mm. God delivered me from this pipe. I wish I had somebody. So y'all, God has delivered you over and over again. Yes, sir. And you need to let somebody know yeah. I'm not here because of how smart I am or my education or my money. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. God delivered me. Yes, sir. Glory to God. I feel like preaching today. Ooh. Well, I got to close. Go I got to close. I've kept you here. It's getting warm now. But I want to tell you something. What God did for David, mm. he's going to do for you. Yeah, yeah. David, listen. Now, you got to be real about this. Yes, sir. Be real about it. When David went down early in that, in that text, before he fought Goliath, he went down on the side of the mountain. Uh-huh. And there's a brook that rides, that, that runs through there. I've been there before. And that little brook is full of rocks. And David just didn't get one rock, mm. but he got five. Mm -hmm. You know what David said? I'm going to use this one, but there may be some more giants coming. Come on. Some will take me a few extra. Come on, come on. Can I tell you, C-19 is not the only problem we're going to have. No. There's some more coming. Yeah. Yeah. But you've got to trust God yeah. that, Lord, listen, no matter what happens, I'm going to trust you to deal with my situation. Yeah. Do y'all have a made-up mind today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is your mind made up? Is your heart fixed? Will you trust God? I said, will you trust him? Yeah. I said, will you trust him? No. Some of us, are, we're fair-weather Christians. But come hell or high water, we're going to worship him anyhow. Glory to God. Come on and give him some praise today. Come on and give him some praise. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I hope you'll take this message home. I hope that you'll feed on it this week. Go back and read 1 Samuel 17. Put yourself in the text. Question yourself. Lord, what kind of warrior am I? What kind of Christian am I? Am I a sometime Christian? Am I a Christian that you can depend on? You know, if it was some of us, when we saw that giant, we'd have took off running. We'd been back at Daddy's house. They said, what you doing here? Well, Daddy, they all right. David didn't run home, did he? He ran on the field to fight. Hmm. Guys, we're on the battlefield. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me say it again. Y'all hear me today? We're on the battlefield yeah. for the Lord. And I don't know about you, but I promised him that I, I would serve him till I die. I'm on the battlefield. Yeah. See, it's easy to preach in those four walls and to talk it. 
But God is saying, this is the time for you to walk it. I'm going to ask my brother. He's going to come and he's going to pray. And then we have an announcement. I want brother, where's he at? Brother, brother Smitty. Somebody has an envelope there waving right now. Now we're not going to be as long on Sunday. We're going to have a short service. We need you to be here on time. We're going to receive communion. And as my brother prays, right where you are right now, I want you to hear all his instructions as we pray. No one walking, no one talking. Chapter 7, if I shot the heaven, there be no rain. 
Jesus Christ. We terminate your power right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up the worship leaders before you. We lift up the members of Mount Sinai Baptist Church before you. Those that are here and those that are not here. Those that are believing you for one miracle or the other. Oh Lord, we lift them before you. Send down rain of blessing. Send down rains of miracle. Let there be deliverance. Let your children go home with testimony and come back with testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over tumor in the belly. I speak healing over cancer. I speak healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Praise of David for this end-time revival. How many of you want God to use you as he used David? I want you to hear this. God is bigger than coronavirus. God is bigger than COVID-19. God is bigger than any situation you can you have ever gone through. With you, God is God. Without you, God is God. So there is every need to praise Him. Because when you praise Him, you open the heavens. But when you pray for Him, Power comes down. I want you to lift up your hands and say, My father, my father. Are you ready to pray? Say, My father, my father. We have come. I join my hands with the hands of my brother to build altar, to build an altar for America here in Mount Sinai Baptist Church. To build an altar for the Church of Christ in Mount Sinai Baptist Church. To build an altar for the world in general in Mount Sinai Baptist Church. That after this COVID-19, there be mighty revival. There be mighty revival. That sinners will come unto you. God will make you the high priest of this altar. Speak over our lives, your healing power, your deliverance, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for answers to our prayer. For in Jesus' name we pray, and the saints will shout it louder. for sharing with us. Listen to this announcement. We're going. I'm here to uh, reiterate on the program the next week. If you ain't got nothing to do, come on out, back out of here, line up again at 7 o'clock. We have a great musical in store for Pastor Sam's birthday. I mean, birthday. Featuring uh, Mount Sinai Praise Team, the Kings of Harmony Plus One, the Ward Boys, or Nornick of San Antonio. All these groups of San Antonio. Our special guest will be the sole invaders of Industrial Texas. That's our own brother King. So y'all just come out at 7 o'clock and enjoy it. That's going to be next Saturday. Next Saturday. Next Saturday at what time? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Oh, okay. This was uh, this was Women of Purpose Sunday. All right then. So anyway, we're supposed to see Sister Lily. All right. Listen. God bless. You. Let me tell you this. On next Sunday, we start at nine forty-five, and we're out by eleven o'clock. Right. New time. Listen to me. Nine forty-five over at eleven. So you need to be here on time so we get you can get a good parking place. All right. We're gonna do a little arranging. God bless you. We love you. Come on, take us home, musicians. Let's do it. Let's do it. Next Saturday night, 7 o'clock, big musical out here. So come on and get down with us. Come on. Thank you, singers. Thank you, deacons. Have a good week. Can we open these gates right here?
Ya, 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 ya,